Hey guys, welcome back to DIY Builds in the great state of Texas. My name is Phil, your host. And I uh, don't have a project for you today. I've got uh, several projects in the works. So what I'm going to show for you today is one of these little FM decoder boards. I've uh, seen some people asking questions about these. These, th these things are fantastic if you want to add FM radio to your project and they also have Bluetooth built in which works really really good it's got really good range and these are great now I'm not a hundred percent sure why these are called decoders except you can't call it radio because a radio has an amplifier backing it up these do not have an amplifier in them you're gonna have to have some sort of an external amplifier to boost the audio for this for it to plug into I saw a question yesterday on my page, I Love All Things Radio, which is my Facebook page. And they had a question about hooking one of these up. So I'd like to show you guys how to hook one of these up. These are really nice. They're very inexpensive. This was $7 from Amazon. Now, they do take quite a bit of time to come in. They do come from China. So if you order one, you need to expect three or four weeks for them to come in. So I go ahead and order a whole bunch of these at one time. That way I have a whole bunch of them on hand for the projects I build for my customers or my own personal projects. Now there's two different types that I've seen. Oh, excuse me. Oops, something just fell over here. Anyway, the two different types that I've seen, um, this particular one here has an auxiliary port on it, and which means you can plug your phone in directly or an MP3 player, which is really nice, anything with an audio input. And some of them do not have that input. Now they do have some that you can order from Amazon that are a little more expensive. They're about ten dollars. They do not have the audio input but they'll show up in about three days. And so they work exactly the same so if you don't need that audio input you could probably get one a lot quicker. Now if you look here on the back here they have different wire connections in here and that's why I'm going to show you how to hook these up. And they come with a whole set, set of wires here. And of course you have the red connector which is going to be your your positive and your negative and that's going to plug in right there but then you have these two other connections right here one of these is going to be an input and one of these is going to be an output uh, the input I assume if you wanted to run some other device maybe Bluetooth or something like that I'm not really a whole real sure how you would use that input but of course you would use the output to run your speakers, to go to your amplifier, to eventually run your speakers and you know have your have your thing going. Now let me get my glasses on here and so I can see, and I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Let me get something to, to point with. Okay, you can see here on the back we have the output right here and we have the input. Now you have the right positive the left positive and you're going to have a common ground. You're not going to have two ground wires for your speakers. You're going to use a common ground. So if you look right here on the wires here you've got a red and a yellow which be your right and your left and the black is going to be your common ground. So that's what you're going to use for both speakers for your ground. So if you would look at the back here okay this is the output that we want which is going to be on this side right here and go ahead and plug those wires in like so and you're ready to go now you don't have to use the inputs if you don't need to so I just go ahead and you know put those aside for the day now the other thing is you are gonna have to solder your antenna on here you see right here where it says FM antenna that's where the antenna goes now this particular one comes with a number 22 gauge wire that will slide right up in there or you can come from the back side here and you put a little drop of solder right there to hold it on now what you're going to need to now you can do two things from there what you can do is you can just go ahead and take you a long wire I'd say probably about maybe 15 feet or so and just make you a loop inside your project and that will give you a good FM antenna. Now if you're using these on a metal ammo can like some of you guys like to do or a metal box, metal toolbox, um, that's probably not going to work very well because the metal 
is going to shield the wiring. So you're going to need to get the antenna outside the box. And you can use a regular car antenna, but you're going to have to use a special adapter for that. So give me just a minute, and I'll get that adapter for you. I forgot to grab one. And I'll be right back. Okay, buddy, I'm back. And I have a little adapter I was telling you about. Now, you want to hook your, your radio here to an outside antenna using a little wire. Most of your car antennas, your marine antennas, have a setup like this to plug into the back of the radio. Well, obviously the wire is not going to attach to this thing right here. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a female antenna connector. Looks just like that. You can get them from, I got these from eBay, you can get them from Amazon, things like that. But what you're going to do is you're going to take your red wire, or whatever color antenna wire, coming from the radio, and you're going to attach it and solder it to the hot side on the back here. That's going to be your hot. Now an antenna has a hot and a ground or a positive and a negative. So what you're going to do for the negative is you're going to take your uh, regular wire and you're going to solder it somewhere here onto the metal base like that. Just solder it right there and you're going to run this wire to the ground on your battery. Because this way it'll be ground, it'll have the hot the positive go to the top. This will be the ground to complete the circuit because an antenna is a circuit. And the cool thing about this is your antenna is going to plug in just like that and it works perfectly fine and you'll be able to get good reception. Now again, we, I talked about antennas in my other video. This is a car antenna. These are great if you have a metal box using a plastic box or a plastic toolbox or a suitcase. You need to get a marine antenna, but I have a whole video on antennas. So give me just a minute. I'm going to hook all this up and uh, show, show you how everything works with the amplifier and what you need. So, I'll be right back. Okay, everybody. Now, we have our radio and our decoder ready to go. Uh, a few of the things you're going to need is you're going to need a ground loop isolator. And what that's going to do is this is going to plug between the radio and the amplifier. And this is going to cut down any noise or any feedback that you're going to get. And the other thing you're going to need, you're going to need some way to connect these speaker wires to your ground loop isolator, which is going to go to the amplifier. So what you're going to need right here is this little connector right here. The cool thing about this is it's already set up for three wires. You have your common ground right here and your right and your left. And what you're going to do is you're going to attach your wires to that connector and then that connector is going to plug into your ground loop isolator. Now, again, like I said about these decoder boards, you're going to have to have some sort of an amplifier. And what amplifier you choose it is up to you. Um, I like these Geco amplifiers. These work really, really good. Um, this one here, I believe, is 100 watts, 50 watts a channel. Now, you got to be careful when you're buying one of these because they look all the same. But as you can see right here, this one has an audio input. And what that's going to be is this is where your amplifier, I mean, your, your radio is going to plug in right there into the amplifier. Now, we're not going to be using this one today. I already have a different one set up. Um, now, this one here, I'll get it. now, this one here has Bluetooth built into it. So, you can use the Bluetooth on the amplifier, or if you want to have the FM radio, you can just plug in right here. It'll cancel out the Bluetooth right here. And the cool thing about these is the power comes in right here. These also come with a little power adapter. You have your positive and your negative wires, too. So, that's cool right there. Now what I'm going to use here, and this is a little amplifier that I had laying around. Uh, I believe this one is probably 50 watts. It's not a very big amplifier. And it's got the power wires coming in here to the back. And it's also got the speaker wires hooked up. So this is the amplifier I'm going to be using. And I'm also going to be using a 12 volt uh, 9 amp hour battery that I have for a project I'm working on right now. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and hook all this up and hook up some speakers and I'll show you what this looks like all hooked up and hopefully it'll explain more on how to hook these up. So I'll be back in a couple of minutes when I get this hooked up. Hey everybody, welcome back. All right, well let me show you what we got going on here. Uh, we have our radio uh, decoder and it's wired up for power and it's also wired up to the amplifier that we have right here. The amplifier 
is wired for power. Of course, everything's going through a fuse. I always want to make sure you have a fuse and we have a battery ready to be hooked up. The other thing we have is uh, we've got the connector ready to plug into the amplifier. And we also have wires going from the amplifier to some speakers that are off camera. So what you want to do is when you go ahead and get your amplifier ready to go, you're going to take your, uh, your ground loop isolator and go ahead and plug in your unit in your ground loop isolator like that. And then go ahead and take the other end and plug it into the amplifier. And you can go ahead and uh, give it some power. If you have a switch, I just have it wired directly here. And it says off the uh, auxiliary, and we're going to switch it to Bluetooth. And I have my phone already ready to go. And it just connected to Bluetooth. And let's see how this sounds. <laughs> As you can see here, we have the wires coming out of the radio decoder into the connector here and into the grand loop isolator and into the amplifier right here. And of course, the wires, the speaker wires coming out of the amp, along with the power wires, going to the battery, and the speaker wires are also going off to the speakers. And if we had an antenna hooked up, you would have it hooked up right here for the FM radio. Now, the FM radio is right there, but you can see we don't have any reception because we don't have the FM radio hooked up. But anyway, we'll go ahead and hook the uh, let's back up here. Let's connect the Bluetooth. pause this. Alright guys, one more time. I'm just going to go over this real quick. Again, as you can see here, we have the three wires coming out of the amp into the connector right here. Uh, the ground wire left and right. The ground loop isolator plugs into the amplifier. So make sure you get an amplifier that has an auxiliary input right here. That's not just straight Bluetooth. And again, you can uh, get one like this here. This one was $26. 100 watt amplifier. And it's got the connector right there and it's got Bluetooth already built in so if you want to add FM radio to it another a later date you can also do that you can start with just Bluetooth and later on add your little decoder and uh, these are really good this is actually one of my next projects but uh, you'll see that next week anyway guys uh, what I'm gonna do is I don't have a lot of parts here I'm gonna upload the video first because I have to use my phone then I'm gonna get on my computer and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get you a parts list for all these parts where you can get them at Amazon. It's not a lot of money in parts. Again, these are seven dollars. Little connectors here are a couple of dollars. Drone loop isolator is about six dollars. These little connectors here, four or five dollars. I think this amplifier here was fifteen dollars. Uh, your battery, I believe this battery here was eighteen dollars. So probably seventy-five dollars worth of parts, not even that much. Maybe fifty dollars worth of parts, counting the speakers, of course, and your build. You can have you a nice little setup with FM radio. So it's really cool to be able to have FM radio, so you're not constantly using your data playing playing through music to your phone. So it's nice to have the FM radio and uh, the other thing. So give me just one more minute, and I'm going to clean this mess up here, and I'll actually show you an FM radio that I have, one of these units in my actual build. So be right back. Hey everybody, I'm back and just wanted to show you guys real quick. This is my Houston Texans boombox. I'm sure you've seen this before, familiar with my channel. And just want to show you that I do have one of these FM decoders mounted inside here. And it works really, really well. The Bluetooth device is ready to pair. And the Bluetooth device <laughs> is connected uh, successfully. Now this one here doesn't have the uh, in input on it. So this one does talk to you. Has a nice little accent. And this one here, I don't have an external antenna. So let me show you what I was talking about. How you can make your own antenna. Uh, this is what it looks like obviously installed. 
And if you look right here, you see this blue wire that I have wrapped around in here? That, that's the antenna that I'm using. And you can get away with that in a plastic box. But again, if you're using a metal box, you're going to have to use an external antenna. And of course, you can see the amplifier there. And there's the ground loop isolator and the connector that we're talking about. Uh, this one's got a much larger amplifier. This amplifier here is 200 watts. And it works really, really good with these kicker speakers. And you can see how everything's kind of wired in there in the back of the radio. And it works really, really good. These are really easy to use. Um, I hope I answered all your questions on how to hook these up. And you guys have a wonderful day. I got some uh, projects in the works right now. So I hope to have those up pretty soon. And um, so you guys look forward to that. Uh, again, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you have, thank you very much. I've got almost 200 subscribers now. And I'm very happy about that. And also look me up on Facebook if you have any questions. Uh, or you want to join our group if you're a builder yourself. We'd love to see your work. I love seeing other people's work. So please look us up. On Facebook at I Love All Things Radio. And we'd love to see you there. So, anyway, have a great week, and we'll see you next time.